single class has that one group. You know what I'm talking about. Well, let's take these for example. The popular kids. You know, the ones who don't really care about anything. The gamers, oblivious to everything in life except what's on their screen. And we have this kid in my class. He's pretty cool, pretty sweet. Never talked to him though. The, the hard workers, the ones who are always working. And then our teacher. Not much to say. Pretty cool guy. Then there's my group. We've been friends for a while, but let me get more in depth with our specific friend group. You have Mike, my boyfriend. Cute, charming, whatever, I guess. You have Adrian, my best friend. A little hard, rough on the edges, but a cool guy. And Bobby. Yeah, his face says it all. This was the day it all began. The day we had the first warning that would change the rest of our lives. Little did we know it would happen so, so fast. I knew something was fishy, but I guess I didn't want to say anything. Eventually I had to, and that's when I started writing this entire diary. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's take it from the beginning. From where it all started, which was Monday, and let's take it from the top. On to the next. Hello? Hey, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Do you think you can maybe? Where you at? I'm on the fourth floor. I'm on my way right now. Okay, later. We did meet up that day, and we talked for a really long time. And I mean a long time. Like, we talked and talked, chatted, talked some more, just about everything. That entire day, we just talked about the warnings that we've had. And then I thought, maybe this is getting more serious. Why am I in the library, you asked? Okay, I was trying to look up books on, you know, meteors and stuff like that. And that's when my best friend joined me in. I was debating on whether I should tell him about, you know, the meteors and whether I believed it was coming or not. And then I just decided, I think I might do it. So, I did. I was skeptical about it, but I decided to do it. If anyone should know, it would be him. I expected and hoped that he would listen to me and think that I'm right, but instead he didn't necessarily agree. In fact, he called me crazy and said that I was losing my mind, which didn't really take a good turn on things, but I don't know, if only he'd listen, if only anyone listened. I don't know what drew me into school on Friday, but I did research and I thought I was doing the right thing. 
I should have just stayed home. But I didn't. I went to school and did my research. What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. I just didn't think or know if that was going to be my last day. I didn't exactly tell him exactly what I wanted to know, but he seemed to listen and had a plan. We both had a plan, and we were determined to figure it out, one way or another, even if that meant risking both of our lives. And that's when it hit us. If this thing is really coming, then we should see for ourselves. And that's exactly what we did. We saw it. High up in the sky was the meteor, and slowly but surely it was cutting our way. I didn't know what to do. I was for sure that was going to be our last day. So I did what anyone else would do. I wanted to say my last goodbyes. We didn't necessarily want to scare the boys, so we never exactly told them that. The media was coming, nor did they notice or pay attention to anything. I was scared, very scared. I didn't want to have to say goodbye, but I didn't want to be sad about it either. So we reminisced. We laughed and joked about old things, new things, and that's when it hit me. I didn't want to cry. I don't think anyone deserved to cry on that day. I don't think anyone knew what was coming next. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Oh, what happened to the media, right? Yeah, it never showed up. <laughs> Pretty much it never came. One week later and here we are. No media. Me and my boyfriend broke up. Our old friend moved away and it was just me and my best friend. Just as it was before. I don't know. Our bond seemed to shift a little bit after that whole incident. I kind of miss my boyfriend being around, but things happen, you know? I'm glad they're happy exactly where they are. I wouldn't change them for the world. But I was even happier to have my best friend back and things back to normal. Even if that meant bonds to change, for the better or for the worse. And that's my story. Glad you enjoyed it. Don't look at me like that.